Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. After a busy day of once to watch day one, we're going to talk about day two, this day of Saturday, and the team of the week untradeable pack that I think is coming today. I'm going to talk about why I think it's coming. Of course, looking at the deadline day webpage from EA Sports, what impact that could have on the market, and of course, cover everything that happened yesterday with the once to watch market movements, cards going up and down, the pack supply and the market actually starting to rise now on some of those cards that we bought two days ago and even earlier last night is going as it was supposed to be planned. So let's take a look at this deadline day. The countdown here is towards a different kind of time. It's a weird time frame. 9 a.m. UK time is I think when this counts down towards, which should be the time. It's like the, the cutoff and the deadline for if you get on FIFA 21 before that time frame, you will be eligible for this pack right here the deadline day pack which guarantees you some untradeable uh team of the week players and some loan ones to watch items but that team of the week player is what we're most looking forward to again today and this is going to be coming today i believe because it is uh expiring at that 11:59 pacific time on october 9th which is this countdown right here so i do believe that this pack would actually come today. It'd be a nice thing that they would give us for a second day of the ones to watch promo as well. So I do expect this to come out today. Does that affect the market? I do think it will because think about everybody that has FIFA right now is everybody that's pre-ordered, got the game today from a physical copy in a store or everybody that was on the game from EA access or early access. And that's a lot of players. That's a lot of people on this market. Just in total, the number of live transfers that were on foot today in general jumped from around, I think it was around seven to eight million at its peak on PlayStation. And that was a jump from around five million where it was the past couple of days during early access. So a lot of new guys got on the game today and that also affect the market. We'll talk about that in a second. But I also think that just means that a lot of people are gonna get this once to watch or excuse me, team of the week player pack. And that's gonna affect some of these prices. Now these team of the week cards are down. After all the supply coming from today, it looks like they dropped down a little bit. Of course, we're looking at popular informs like Alan St. Maximin. Uh, he was bouncing around between 220 this morning, all the way up to like 260, 255 right here, and then back down to 230. And now he's chilling in, uh, around that 230 range still. Uh, same thing with Holland. He was up at 260 today. Again, back down to 230. Lewandowski was at 330 at one point. He's at 300. Teo Hernandez is at 88,000 coins. Ali Watkins and Hamas Rodriguez both were extinct during the first day when everybody was investing in them and sniping them. Now they're basically back down to discard. So it's kind of crazy the, the fluctuations with this team of the week with a lot of the OP players that are in it. And uh, it looks like they're still going to stay pretty low. I would expect them to rise out of the weekend. Historically in past FIFAs, Saturday has been like one of the cheapest days to invest in Team of the Week cards. Now, if you bought these yesterday, they're basically, if you bought them at a low price yesterday on Friday, which is when I thought they were going to be their lowest uh, off the bat, it looks like they're still going to be pretty low on today on Saturday and maybe a bit of a drop right away at 6 p.m. if we do get this deadline day pack and everybody goes and gets that trade or that untradeable Team of the Week player. So that could be something if you're wanting to invest in Team of the Week 2 that we could be seeing those uh, and, and seeing a little bit of panic selling on those cards possibly today if that pack does come out. So we'll wait for 6 p.m. UK for that today. One other thing that could be coming at 6 p.m. is the La Liga Player of the Month card. Now, Footwatch tweeted this out a couple hours ago and they said EA updated the code for the La Liga POTM card. It shows an embargo time of Saturday 5 p.m. GM 5 p.m. GMT. So the SBC should be at six. So hopefully we're going to be seeing La Liga's player of the month on Sufati. looks like maybe a little concept card here down below the tweet. Uh, that'd be a sick card. Of course, we've been kind of not fearing that this card was coming, but especially for that Ansu Fati inform himself. A lot of people want to get in on that card and use that card because he's very meta, but that could be another big time SBC that would come out today. Um, and affect the market. Now, I don't, I feel like they would price this differently and they would price it cheaper than what they did with the Dominic Calvert-Lewin SBC because, again, the, uh, that Player of the Month SBC is Premier League and a lot of the Premier League stuff, SBCs, and other content that gets released in this game is just overpriced because EA know they can suck more coins off the market as more people will do that type of SBC. So they price it higher because uh, there's more demand for that stuff. Now, an Ansu Fadi SBC would be very popular as well. What kind of stuff would this require? They already required an inform in the first SBC of the year. They're already requiring informs for this um for the Dominic Calvert-Lewin SBC, I would be not surprised, again, if they required more informs for Ansu Fadi. Hopefully, it's just one squad for Ansu Fadi, probably 83 rated. I don't expect 83 rated cards, uh, especially informs, 
to rise on the market. Possibly we could see a few 83s rise if there's more demand. Nothing really rose for the dominant Calvert-Lewin SBC because it was just overpriced at 65K. There's just not enough demand there at that price point for people to go and do this SBC. So if you want to take a look again, if you have some discard 82s or 83s that you want to pop into, buy some of those cards. That's not a bad shout. 84s actually got cheaper today. All this SBC fodder, the higher rated stuff, there's just no demand for it. There's no SBCs that are out right now. All this stuff keeps going lower. Bitzel at 3,000 coins, Oyarza Ball at 3.5k. If there's any La Liga requirements or Spanish requirements for Ansu Fati, that could be a card that goes up. And again, this stuff is all like really, really low risk buys right now. If you want to want to do a club stock, I would recommend doing some of that because these cards are just very cheap. And we're probably going to get other SBCs during this promo and in the weeks ahead with, you know, the Ultimate Screen promo coming out and other SBCs that will, EA might start dropping like flashbacks and stuff like that. It's not a bad time to do a club stock if you do have the coins at the moment. But let's talk about the rest of the market because we're just banking on this market rise. We've a lot of coins invested in meta players on this market, which is what we've been doing the past two days. And one thing I want to start talking about first is Footbin. Footbin has been messing up some of these prices. I wanted to kind of let you guys know about that. Sometimes you go over here on Footbin, it tells you Sun is 255,000 coins, but you actually go back to Foot and you realize that that is not an accurate price. It seems to be that Footbin is catching some of these undercuts that people are listing up with all these packs being opened, all the supply coming out. And people also panic selling at the same time. You're seeing undercuts and Footbin is somehow catching those like they did it in years past. I don't know if they had like an average in years past, but Footbin is catching these undercuts. Right now, Sun on Footbin shows as 255, but he's actually 280 on the market. So this can be used to your advantage if you're trying to snipe a player where you could see him get listed at the Footbin price instead of what he's actually going for on the market. And that could actually make you some coins. So maybe this is like a new FIFA 21 trading method is like the Footbin method where we look for cards on Footbin that have price points that are not accurate to what they actually are in the game. Uh, but just be careful of this. When you're looking on Footbin to go and sell a card or to go and buy a card, don't always just go by what Footbin says or what Footwiz says. Actually go on the market and check that card out and search it for yourself because that's going to get the true price. You're going to find that true price. And in, in this case, you'd be saving yourself 25 to 30,000 coins if you bought, if you pack this sun and list him at Footbin price, uh, you would be not getting all the coins that you could actually get for this card. So just a little bit of a tip there. But a lot of these Footbin prices are showing that the market is rising back up, which is what we expected with all of the pack supply. A lot of the lower tier cards are kind of rising up quicker, right? Your Rente was like, I think 17,000 coins earlier today. And a lot of the lower tier guys, I was buying Coutinho's today at around 8,000 coins. He's selling, he rose up. Uh, you can see there was a lot of dip here during all the supply. He was 21,000 coins, went down to 18, and now he's back up at 21K. I think this is just attributed to um, a lot of people that are getting on the game for the first time, they still don't have a lot of coins. So they're buying a lot of these players that are in the lower tier range. That's maybe why you didn't see as much of a rise on guys like Dembele, Joe Gomez, Ferland Mendy, Eden Hazard. Now, while some of those players did rise, Rashford's up a bit, Pogba's up a bit. Uh, I think those cards are going to more gradually rise into the next week as people graduate from a card like a Marcus Llorente and move into something a little bit more expensive. Maybe they go to a Havertz who's 100,000 coins, or maybe they go up to a Valverde who is 64,000 coins. That could be something that you see, but it looks like the biggest movers of the, at least the last, you know, 10 to 12 hours have been those lower meta, lower rated meta cards. Jao Felix, I was buying today on stream, sniping for 13,000 coins. He's up to 15.5. Uh, poor two is at 7k. He's now at 8.8. .8. Even Dominson Sanchez, just be, with the, the lack of players in the Premier League at center back, he has risen. Fakir is up. Uh, and just a lot of these cards did bounce back a decent amount. Now, if you're somebody who invested with me or with a lot of other guys in this game that were shouting high rated meta players and you bought those for your team, that was the best buys in my opinion. A lot of these cards are still uh, chilling around similar prices. I still have Fabinho's, Joe Gomez, Jadon Sancho, um, and Alaba still sitting on my transfer list as well. I still have a Davies. Davies is kind of, you know, still chilling around that 60K price range. I would continue to hold on to these cards because just throughout the next week, as long as we don't get a repeatable sort of SBC from EA Sports, I don't think there's anything that's really going to drag this market down. It's just people are upgrading their teams. They're getting their division rivals placement coins probably tonight into tomorrow. And that's just going to make the market boom even more as they get more coins. Some people getting, you know, 60, 70,000, maybe even 120,000 coins for getting Div 2. And that stuff is just going to continue to keep going up and up 
and up. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market right now. Again, just be careful today. I really feel like if we're going to get any sort of content, I wouldn't expect another SBC wants to watch player from EA Sports. I know we have the objective going on and we had the uh, SBC for Tiago Silva today. I really just feel like it's going to be that deadline day pack coming out today, a possible Ansu Fati, and then uh, probably not another objective as well. Maybe a pack supply SBC, but again, that would just put more coins on the market. So continue to watch the market rise. I know there's no weekend league. If there was weekend league, we would see a lot more higher of a rise and a lot quicker of a rise but that is next week to worry about. So a lot of these cards that we have invested in as well, you can kind of set a time frame uh, if you want to just get them out, maybe for next Thursday with weekend league rewards for some of these high rated meta cards. That could be kind of like a target sell time for some of those. And we honestly should be watching the market rise all week long. Now, if you want to do some quick flips and trading on the market still, um, you can absolutely do that with position change trading, with chemistry style change trading. Uh, there are a lot of cards that people are trying to fit in their teams right now. Raja Nangolan, as a 83 rated card on this game, I think is right around 20k. But he sells for a decent amount more with a center defensive mid position change or with the shadow chemistry style applied because uh, his, his card in game actually fits that type of position better. So he's a center attacking mid by base position. You move that to center defensive mid and he's actually going for around, is it 5,000 coins more? 6,000 coins more. Wow. If this, if this actually sells at 26 K, that'd be kind of crazy. That's almost a 10,000 coin boost up in price from where he is, uh, with just his normal item. Let's see if I can maybe snag a quick sniper or a listing under 20,000 coins because people are changing their teams around all the time and upgrading. Somebody might be listing their nine goal as a CDM. And if he's actually selling at even 24,000 coins, this could be a really nice filter that you could sit on. But there's a lot of other players like this. In the meantime, uh, if you're waiting for investments to rise and you have some coins at the handy, at the ready and handy in the top left of your screen, in your coin balance, then you could definitely do some sort of this trading uh, because people are still upgrading their teams and they're still figuring out how they can progress inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team and take their team to the top. So again, quick recap, just be careful. The deadline day pack today could cause some untradeable um, packs to be open and some maybe panic selling as people, pa people pack an untradeable player from the team of the week and they go and sell the tradable one that they have in their squad just be careful of that and the Ansu Fati SBC that possibly could be coming today as well don't think it's going to be too expensive but there'd be a lot of hype for that card link investments as well you think about other Barcelona midfielders uh, maybe a guy like Griezmann who isn't up that much today could be a card that would rise if this SBC would come out and other center mids in the La Liga or Barcelona maybe again like a guy like Coutinho or left backs uh, like a Jordi Alba uh, somebody like that could be rising on the market today as a link investment to that Ansu Fati, depending on the price, depending on the rating upgrade. And of course, uh, if enough hype is there for a card like that, he is meta. So there's going to be hype there. It just really depends on price and uh, on the actual stats of the card. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and catch you guys later. Peace out.